into the stuff. Now, to use the business manager, you need a Facebook account. Now, if you don't have a Facebook account, you need to create one. But I'll have to um, um, uh, warn you, creating a Facebook account now will not allow you use business for the facebook.com i think for the next three months you won't be able to use it for the next three months but i'm so i'm just assuming because i believe that over 80 percent of nigerians have a facebook account so if you do please this is what you need now you need you need to log in to your business account with your facebook account so let's do that when you go to create accounts facebook is expecting you to log into your normal you know your normal facebook account do you understand if that makes sense so this is my facebook email uh, email account and password so i can easily log in right but if you don't have that's what i'm saying you don't have you need to create a facebook a facebook account a personal account that you used to chat with your friends for you to access this business manager do you understand so once you can gain access to it you log in it makes sense now so after logging in, you want to go to create account, okay? The 10x text tests. I'll leave my name there and put my email address. After you click on create a page, you can choose whether you want to choose go with a business or brand or you go with community or public figure. Okay, in this case, I'm going to pick business or brand. All right. So I'm going to quickly fill up <coughs> my details here. So I think I'm going to call this um, wine. I'm going to pick, I'm just going to put my address there, my phone number. Okay, he's asking me for my city. I put my country, my address. All right. Then I create a page. Now, since I don't have the picture ready, I just go on Google to find a picture I can use for the. Um, might not be useful for us, and it will so cut this part out because we wasted a lot of time with it. So after you create the page, what you'd want to do next is to create the ad, all right? So you go back to, so you go back to facebook.business.com where you get the opportunity to create the ad. So, um, if you don't have a MasterCard, which I don't know why you would not have, you will need a get back. In fact, even if you have a master, if you don't have a MasterCard, all of this is not going to be useful for you. What I mean by MasterCard, sorry, if you don't have a debit card, uh, from year onward, you will not be able to perform any, uh, any possible transaction. So you need at least a Visa card or a MasterCard, a Master Debit card or a Visa Debit card. And if uh, 
if you can't use pay you there's another way to it but pay you is easiest and seamless way to use it now this card i'm using has already been blocked so the transaction will not go through but if you have no problem with your own card it would go through and after going through you have no problems from there okay so if that doesn't work facebook um allows credit cards now there's a problem with our own naira mastercard if it's not a uba africa it might not work okay except you have you have the missionary um account us dollar account but if you don't have that there's no problem all right you can easily get that on a phone application software called get butter okay in get butter you can create um you can create cards that can benefit you your particular needs so um just download the get butter card you ask you for a few verification your bvn and all of that you input it and then they will give you an opportunity to create a card that you can use for transactions i hope you understand so assuming that you already have that out of the window this is the rest of the video they will give you an opportunity to create a card that you can use for transactions i hope And here we're going to pick the audience inside tool. This tool is the holy grail of Facebook marketing. What I mean by that is it helps you target the specific people who are interested in your products. All right. And if you were paying attention there, I picked everybody here on Facebook. And here I'm going to pick the country, which is Nigeria. And then I will choose the age range. To the people of the people I want, uh, I want to advertise to. Usually, I like to pick 25 and above because I believe that people who are you know of that age should be of a sort of a working class. <coughs> and for this sake, for the sake of this tutorial, I want to uh, advertise wine, right? So I'm going to pick people who are interested in. A certain uh, topic which is alcoholic wine or food drink maybe wine whatever it is and I'm not going to be biased I'm going to be not I shouldn't have used the word bias I'm going to just leave it at <coughs> I'm going to leave it at just all men and women okay so we want to know how many people um, on Facebook in Nigeria currently have big interest in these things and the kind of pages that they follow so if you, when we see what we're seeing here is some of them follow whiskey they follow remy martins and uh, they follow champagne um so it's easy to to know that uh, we have a lot of followers who are interested in this topic right and you see, we even have their location. Most of them are based in Lagos. So this gives me an idea of what, of who I am targeting, right? So, <coughs> oh God, all these distractions. So that gives us a representation of who our target market is if you understand what i mean right i might want to go further to pick uh, some more targeting options and uh, to be more sure of what i'm talking about talking to all right and you can see here that most of them use androids and most of them operate facebook with uh, mobile most of them are on mobile and uh, the majority of them use Android phones. 
not um, iPhones. So that gives you if 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 that is useful for your uh, targeting, then it would be useful. If if uh, what you're selling to them, if you're selling phone cases, for example, and it's for only Android users, you'll be sure that you know you have a majority of people who might respond to your ad. So um, I usually like to work with people who have. Is some level of education. It's not like I'm, um, how will I put this? I'm not discriminating people who went to school or people who don't go to school. It's just easier to communicate um, some of this information to people who are more receptive to understand it, you know. <laughs> so Facebook helps me um, target people who have some education, who have an education background you understand what i mean so here it depends on your your uh your ad your ad type all right so i'm going to pick engagement there and then um i would optimize my budget the reason i pick engagement is because i want facebook to be able to help me uh uh, interact with people who are used to dropping comments on facebook okay so Facebook is going to target those people. Now, since I already created, I already edited the most of the audience I'm looking for, I don't really have to touch anything here. You understand? So, <coughs> pardon me. Oof. So I'm just going to skip down to the rest. Now here, you can leave it as, uh, you can leave it as recommended. Where? So I'm just going to skip down to the rest now here you can leave it as uh you can leave it as recommended where it shows placements all right facebook. and when we're done with that we just click on continue all right and here this is where you can choose a facebook page that you want to use i'm going to choose my handle and you can also choose a an instagram page you can link an instagram page which i have not done here but that will be in a different video okay if you request for it i would definitely do one for you if you're interested so yeah you can add a an image or a video all right so i'm going to quickly add an image i already downloaded from google for the sake of this tutorial i'm going to quickly upload it right right now um I'll click on upload images and i will look for the picture okay there it is so I'll click on continue and i will click on continue here okay so <coughs> pardon me what facebook expects you to do here is to pick an what facebook expects you to do here is to pick an image that is relevant to what you are advertising and facebook does not like images with text okay do not put images with text do not put images that are disturbing i need you to go and read the facebook ad policy i'll leave it on the description below so that you can have easy access to it please read the facebook ad policy you just quickly paste in uh, a, a dummy text here for the ad now this is where you're going to describe what your product does and what you want people to do then you put a call to action all right if you want them to call you or you want them to go to your website but since it's an engagement you know like test it you just want to see people ask for the product so i'm going to click on confirm that is basically it you know there's nothing else to it that's it so um thank you very much for your time and then it's going to take some time to review and after facebook reviews it they are going to pass it or they're going to ask you to adjust some things depending on what their review is but in this case once it's active you'll see they're active and that's it so uh thank you very much